I'm Jake Peterson. I'm the director of products for Stairmaster High Intensity, also known as the Hit Ninja. So for a work to rest interval, this is more the traditional HIT style uh, workout structure. You have a fixed amount of time that you're working and a fixed amount of time that you're resting. Uh, we can vary those. A really good example is a traditional Tabata. A Tabata is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest and it's eight rounds. So the total workout is four minutes. Um, so a lot of our workouts, we want a structure to be about 20 minutes long. One way you can do it is do a Tabata with a specific exercise, have the members rest for three to four minutes, and then do another Tabata. Because in a Tabata, the work to rest interval is actually really small on the rest side compared to the work side. And traditionally with HIT, a lot of gyms do one to one. Studies show that to get the best recovery, it's actually one to three work to rest interval. So you can do a Tabata, you can rest, build up your rest period, and then do another one. Another example of a work to rest interval um, could be a simple minute on, two minutes off, or minute on, three minutes off. Members could simulate a sled push on the hip mill uh, for a minute. Um, and then they could rest for three minutes. You could set that up with uh, three different team members doing it. Um, so two people are resting while the other person is working. You could also set it up so those other team members are doing what we call active recovery, uh, which we use like walking on the hit mill or something that still keeps the member moving, but doesn't spike up the heart rate as they're going through those recovery phases.